Hey, what's up, Schnell? Welcome to a new episode of Snack Time with Schnell. We're gonna make us some little sliders today and some mashed potatoes. Got some unholy grave on. First off, you wanna get an area, obviously. Also, I have an important message. Um, a couple days ago, I uh, did a video about the uh, Moxie carts. This is actually pretty important. Turns out those got recalled. And I hit them up with an email just so you folks know I am telling the truth. They even gave me, like, some stuff to try out with this new device, which, if you know what it is, cool, if you don't, but for right now, they pulled these, and couldn't have picked the worst time, but... They were good while they lasted. They said they were going to get some new ones, but eh, I, I'm done with that. We'll figure. I do like the, the new one. But also... New immolation record. They actually told me to hit up their manager about getting a copy for the channel. I probably should do that. See what the album of the month is real quick. Oh, what's this? None so vile. Oh, god damn it. So that means nobody in America is gonna have it. Son of a bitch, that sucks. Unpl trouble unplugged. What? Dude, Ross's hair is ridiculous. Oh, they got Savage Grace free issues? I uh, just on CD. I know everybody wants the LP. Just calm down. There we go. I need to get this 100%. We can't miss that one. I keep being told to get that. I mean, I have both demos, so it does make sense. So, oh, the new Blood Incantation got album of the month. Congratulations, boys. Fuck yeah. Oh, yes, Dutch wrote it too. Dutch, if you're watching, you fucking roll. And look what else made it in here. My demo of the year by Kronos Compulsion. And Dutch is so lucky he gets to do this. He gave Pharmacist a good review also. 
I was gonna put some weeping forest on, and I probably I will once we start cooking. So I'll get that set up. But I'm glad, you know, because sometimes they'll put an album of the month that definitely doesn't deserve it. Like, I'm glad they gave the Corpse Grinder record probably the album it deserves. I meant the uh, number it deserves. That was the only one I saw. But like Transylvania Recordings had an ad, which I, again, congratulations, James. But that was the only one I saw was this Matt Pike and Corpse Grinder solo records. Pike got a seven and Corpse Grinder got a five. I'm surprised Metal Blade didn't put it out either. It was a label called Perseverance. But Voivod have a new record. Shape with Despair have a new record. And I guess that's all. 80 pages. I mean, it has Immolation on the cover. Fucking A. I'm sorry to all you vegans, but first we gotta wash our hands. But finally got the channel hooked up, uh, so that's cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure donations and stuff are allowed now, because uh, turned out Google owed me like four hundred dollars, and we got it situated. So fucking a. But I definitely, you know, I don't even have rolls, so we're going to make three. And use a little olive oil. And wait real quick, was it? I forgot if it was wheat in the forest. Because I do want to, I, I actually listened to the that demo a couple days ago. The Weeping Forest. Unholy Grave Grind Killers. I don't know where my Unholy Grave t-shirt went. But I'm going to borrow this device. But they gave me a new USB port too for my my thing but just you know if you're using a dart right now yeah you want to you want to take it back because they they showed me the paperwork too because my one buddy works there 
Now even though I'm probably up to I'm this fucked up, we're gonna use a little bit of olive oil. I don't really know that much about this, so it could be a shit show. But first put on some nice cooking music instead of some crust. I guess I Oh, the start of it, huh? Come on, I know exactly what it's fucking... Alright, that's 2016 demo. Great, this is gonna be one of those, like, hard as hell to find. I wonder how the... Uh, Hold on, we'll find it. Because I swear I was listening to this. Waiting for demo one. Sorry about that, folks. Let me just spell this real quick, because it's insane. <laughs> I found it. Sick. Alright, so this is a full length. Jesus Christ. Why do people put ads in fucking this shit? I wanted to listen to this uninterrupted, but we're just gonna do a little dabber. That was probably too much, honestly. I, I don't need them now. There we go. Thank you. Piece of shit, Blake. Alright, so... We have oil in our pan. Good. I always like doing this. I let it drip a little bit. I spilled some, of course. But, oh no, dose. And trace. Now, you don't have to do this, but I like doing this. I turn it to six for a little bit at first, and I just let it heat up a little bit. Get my lid. Boom! Bow! 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 I would put the fan on, but... It, ah, that's annoying. That's not too annoying. But... See, so... You know, it's sizzling a little. You wanna... See, I'm gonna keep it... I'm gonna keep a Delco here and use a paper plate instead of a nice glass one. Just because we'll do it the Delco way. 
people want to rep Delco so hard. All right, we're going to do shit the Delco way. But when you flip, you want to turn down real quick and get a good clean spatula. I know this is clean because I set it up there and washed it myself. You want to be careful because sometimes these bad boys, they'll fucking spray back and burn you. And that's never fun. Right, Otto? Yeah. See how that splashed back? That's because I used way too much olive oil, but it smells delicious. And rather that than sticky burgers. And now that they're flipped, we're going to put this here. Put the lid back on and turn these bad boys back up. Let it sit. That light sucks. But we'll let it marinate for a minute. And... You want to put the extra burgers away, obviously, and we'll do that now. And, again, this is just my personal recommendation. You can do this however you want. Obviously, be careful. Like, I just turned the heat down a little bit on the stove. But... Just get like, uh, you know, sealed bag. Because you're going to want to eat these as quick as possible, pretty much. Because they're defrosted. So. This is, that's, it's just out of habit. So there we go. Now we have... Three burgers left and three on the fryer. We're going to want to get our Bob Evans mashed potatoes out for after this part's done. Because we're going to have to flip again. Again, you don't want to burn your hands. Be careful doing this. Fuck. Oh, come on. There we go. And let these things sizzle and cook while you don't grab the lid from the top because it's going to be hot let it sit put it on we'll do four and a half ish but I used to really look forward to Dutch's column until I just started following him on, on Instagram and just made my life a lot easier. But he, you know, really has some crazy low key shit. Like, let's check out the Spellcaster demo. I don't even know if it's a demo, but we have a few minutes. So, let's check it out. So, demo number three. Is there a number? Uh, Alright, they got it.
it's here, how gnarly it is. That's a lot of steam for my steamed hams. It's the only way to cook steamed hams. Unless you have a crusty burger across the street. But I sadly do not. Definitely one of my favorite Simpsons episodes though. Skinner with <laughs> that whole the whole entire episode is just brilliant. When Nel when Nelson chases down the real tall guy, <laughs> are you making fun of my automobile? It's all that I can afford. You know you're gonna eat like a savage. But I probably should have lit the light, the, I don't have my lighter on my, on me, but semi-safe way, not when you have hot iron burning on top, but use a birthday candle. And there you go. But... That heats up a little too much, so we're gonna go down to three now. Check it real quick. Listen to that sizzle. Ah! <laughs> Just what I warned you about. So we're gonna flip them again. It's just satisfying, like doing that. kind of miss working at the pizza joint but I, I'm not the, really good at cooking I just know how to make some shit pretty decently that's some really lo-fi black metal I have that volume up pretty loud uh, yeah that's as loud as it goes sounds good though This probably sounds better on cassette. And here's where you can go either two directions. Well, a bunch of directions, but. Now, I like covering three of the holes so you don't get too much. And you're going to want to do that on both sides. And let it sizzle. Again, this is just my preferred method of making steamed hands. Like I said, cover three of them. You don't want all of that garbage ruining your, you know, burgers. So cover that, and I like doing a little bit of salt, ah, looks like I'm out of salt almost, we'll see, that was way too much anyway, but, oh well. This bad boy burning is so probably not cooked on the inside. So, i put it that way. I fucked up. I messed up.
Well, at least the tunes got louder. So now, you're going to want to get rid of that plate and just put that one on top. But these should actually almost be done, believe it or not. We'll give them a couple more minutes. They're still on like a medium temperature. But I just want that satisfactory sizzle. We're gonna flip that bad boy. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll just let it marinate for a minute. So we'll get the uh, the covers nice and cooled off too by now. You want to get any excess oil off, and then I turn it up. But you can go whatever way you want. That's just my preferred method of doing it. The spellcaster sounds pretty pretty good but on to this step and again this isn't even a step this is 100% up to you but I'm hungry and I actually have some food so we're gonna eat that stuff we got some Bob Evans mashed potatoes You always want to, you know, pay attention to that, like, sizzle sound, remember? And we're going to want to flip the burgers, too, but I know the directions by heart. You want to get rid of this, and then hold on. So, real quick. Need to flip the burgers one more time. And then we'll get to the mashed potatoes. Cause like that popping grease right there, that's like burning my knuckles. It's pretty painful. So now, We'll keep these on low while we get our microwave situated. So, you don't want to mix it up first. Just take the lid off and it's one minute. Now, as for these, we're gonna check out the inside and make sure they're edible. Because that's important stuff. Obviously it's important. I know this isn't the best angle. Real quick, let's check this out. Ah! Nice and cooked on the inside. It's very hot. I apologize. Hold on, let me switch plates. But after, real quickly, we get these burgers onto this plate.
Make sure your oven is turned off. Now we have three steamed hams. And for the mashed potatoes. This is the fun part. <laughs> Not really, but I like mixing stuff. So I try to get a plastic fork. Just, I don't know, I feel like it's easier to stir with. That's probably not true, but for me it is, because instead of doing the dishes, I can be a savage and just recycle it. But it says to put this in for 30 seconds. I always just do a minute. And again, let it cook, let it do its thing. And we're gonna get another clean Delco plate. So we only wasted three of them, but don't worry, we'll recycle it. Now I washed my hands. But we have a nice little bit of protein for dinner. As well as some mashed potatoes and I really do need to quit drinking soda I kind of cut Dr. Pepper off a good bit but fucking Sprite man and Got some Pennsylvania made ketchup. <clears throat> oh, I don't think I have spicy mustard though. Oh, that's a bummer. You know what? We might have to skip the uh, mustard on this one. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm, a yellow mustard's not my thing. But let's get the mashed potatoes. Let's get this shit going. But I don't like using too much ketchup. Ketchup? Ketchup. Are you here to solve my ketchup problem? Yeah, I'm just gonna quote The Simpsons. But just a little bit. That was more than I even wanted, but here's a good way to spread it around. You want to grab a fork. Again, I'm being a savage, and we're doing this the Delco way. So we're just going to use a fork. This is actually old. Uh, I don't even remember what website it was, honestly. I think Warlord or something. Like, I just need, I needed a zip up at the time. And I couldn't afford one from ERP. And Dave was like, we do have a US, like, official dis like, distributor. Di just whatever that word is. I've been having a hard time stuttering today it's annoying but this is a good way to spread your you know your condiment by like you kind of make a burger out of your burgers and it just I don't know I, I like the way it spreads the uh, condiments and it doesn't overdo it because I know people that they just, they overdo everything, like, just like, to the max, it doesn't matter what it is. But you also want to, really quickly before you eat, wash your hands again after you clean up.
this stuff. Now, I'm going to give my dog a little bit of dog food and give them some beef grease right out of it. You give me one set. Just so it doesn't go to waste, give him a little bit of oil. He likes it. And clean your pan off with, uh, I suggest Dawn, if you have any. You can get some at the dollar store. I mean, it'll be a, like a real small one, but. Hey, it gets the job done. And our mashed potatoes are done just in time. And here's where we're going to multi-use the fork. We're going to wipe the ketchup off, wet it, dry it, and use it with our mashed potatoes. Oh, look at that. Now, I want to use a little bit of pepper, not too much. I don't have salt, sadly. I thought I did, but I don't. So, it's a little dab of pepper. And just in case there's a little bit of salt left, fuck it. And we have three sliders and some mashed potatoes with a can of Sprite. Three sliders, Bob Evans mashed potatoes, and a Sprite. It's the thing about long hair. Sometimes like you'll just bite into something and bite your hair. I'm definitely digging this Spellcaster demo. That's really good back there. But one day, I'll quit drinking soda. For you folks. But you want to make sure your burgers are cooked through. You don't want to get food poisoning. Mmm, steamed hams. Oh. Like, that's fucking, I'm, like, it's seriously delicious. Like, you have no idea. Mmm. Choice. Choice would be the word. I would call this meal. Now that's a Delco barbecue, folks. We could have done it the prison way and made ramen noodles part of this meal, but I don't want to waste my ramen. What do you think? Noodles grow on trees? Although I do have a bag of, uh, my little sister left these here yesterday. I don't know when she'll be back, but I'm a savage and I like, I like small sun chips. Sorry. Sorry, Mara. <laughs> Get Dara, Mara. And yo, check this out. Hit up the dollar store. Oh, we got mad boof tarts. The toast ones? Heck yeah. We have five packs. Look at this. Hello? 
A ramen noodle cell phone. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're just eating some home cooked burgers and some Bob Evans. Shout out to John Curry. It's for you, brother. Hello. But if we were to make some prison food, we do have the cheese. But I'm not making a chi chi right now. But we have chili ramen also. Heavy hails. And I'm gonna do a real video tomorrow, musically speaking, going over a certain time period in extreme music. It's going to be interesting. I highly suggest tuning in. I had other plans today, but they kind of fell through. I'm not a legend, but I appreciate it. I'm just some dude that likes making videos. I've been making videos since I was a kid. I mean, I'm 37, fuck. You know, I'm old. But, you know, it's all good. The break in my neck thing sucked, but, you know, it was kind of a... The only real bummer about it was, like I said, I kind of was ready to get some concrete work, figure it out, try and start my own concrete skate park company eventually. But, I'm not an architect, so it's not like I could work on even designing them. I just wanted to learn how to lay concrete properly, set pull coping and stuff. just the right way because once I'm able to ride my bike again I'm going to be going to FDR a lot. FDR is DIY, mostly skater built. I've donated my fair share of money and time but not enough. But I would love to like, you know, know like I wanted to learn how to start being able to like work with those guys when they work on like a new bowl project at the skate park but I got hurt and you know it is what it is hopefully I'll figure something out but finding out Google and YouTube owed me like four hundred dollars I mean it was three something but still it was closer to four hundred I was like, I knew they owed me money. They wouldn't send me a check. Like, God forbid not everybody's on that technical level. I mean, yeah, I should have my own bank account still. But to me, they were stealing my money. Like, it got to the point I was working so infrequently that I was just getting overdrawn with every paycheck. So I'd get a paycheck, and I would lose $75 from it off the jump just because I owed money. It, it, it was a nightmare. Because sometimes you'd be like, yes, like, you know, you get the sick paycheck. Go to the bank and realize you owe them half your paycheck. And one time, they just took my entire paycheck and I, like, kind of got pissed. Like, in the bank, they called the cops. It was a mess, honestly. 
I thought I was like going to jail. But I legit, I was like, goes like, you stole from me. Not understanding, like, that's how a bank works, yo. Like, <laughs> you dumb, like, use your brain. And definitely listen to Spell, uh, Spellcaster from America. Wow. Really good demo. Demo three. But that's how you make a nice little meal. Hello, Aaron. And a good meal. Like, I'm full. And I'm not even finished yet. And I haven't even had any delicious Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips. And I smashed them up. So they're nice and small. I don't know why. It's like small Sun Chips. <laughs> Hola. But that's how you make, you know, some quick burgers. Some mashed potatoes. And around me, there's this meat market. Again, I'm sorry to all you vegetarians and vegans. I know what it's like to watch other people eat meat. It sucks. But. I'll put it this way. Some of the most popular hamburger joints in my town, they get their meat from Roy, I meant from a colonial village. So we only have 10% battery left. If you're ever around my area and you're looking to barbecue, hit up Colonial Village. Like here's some uh, cube steak. Yeah, I needed food, man. I'm, I'm good too for a while. Mm. But I appreciate everybody hanging out for a little bit. I'm going to, uh, like I said, do a video tomorrow actually on uh, the first Beneath the Massacre full length. And I want to just talk about how important that band was when they first came out to this technical death metal revival of the mid-2000s. Like, some, like, Job for a Cowboy show with some bands from Quebec would outdraw, like, Deicide with, like, Obituary. It was a very strange time for death metal. You had a bunch of ex-hardcore kids playing death metal, short-haired death metal was a big thing. Like, I remember it being called, like, short-haired death metal. It was very weird. But that's a tale for a different day. Thanks for hanging out. You fucking rule. I'm going to finish my food and charge my phone. Hails. Hey,